Hello Aquarius and welcome to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next seven days. Aquarius, this is a timeless reading so it is intended for whenever you are watching. We're starting with the Wisdom of Tao Oracle cards and then I will go into some tarot and a little more Oracle, okay? This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pretty, your first card out, Relationship Harmony. Beautiful, look at the beautiful artwork. Okay, Oracle cards go here for the time being and I will um, go into these a little bit more after the tarot part. Oh my gosh, and you got Lovers and Partnership. Very interesting, Aquarius. Some interesting relationship stuff going on this week. All right, I'm just gonna set these aside. Go over to the tarot here. I'm using my new Halloween deck. This is from Etsy, which I will list below. And then all of the other decks are affiliate links if you are interested in any of these. Okay, so these are, um, this Halloween deck has um, vintage artwork, which I thought was very cool. Okay, so Halloween tarot. What do we have for Aquarius? We're going to start with um, current situation or most important situation this week, challenges, advice, and then outcome, and then I will clarify them all. Okay, so your current situation or the most important situation this week, Aquarius, we've got the Queen of Swords, okay? The swords are air energy, which is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, so that is your energy. Your challenges, we have the Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups, beautiful. Advice, we have the Ace of Wands, beautiful. Something new and fresh coming in for you, something passionate. And outcome, we have the Two of Pentacles. Okay, cool, Two of Pentacles. All right, so let's clarify these. We're gonna clarify with the Everyday Witch Tarot deck. We're clarifying the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Cups, Ace of Wands and Two of Pentacles for Aquarius. All right, what does Aquarius need to know? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, do check your other signs too. There might be different messages for you there that resonate. Okay, clarifying the Queen of Swords. Neat, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Clarifying the Eight of Cups. Oh, we've got the Six of Cups. Neat, I just messed these up. I keep trying to straighten them and they're getting messed up <laughs> as I'm straightening them. The Ace of Wands is clarified by the Seven of Swords and the Outcome card, Two of Pentacles, is being clarified by the Queen of Swords. So more air energy for Aquarius. So let's get started here. Your current situation this week, we have the Queen of Wands clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. And I was just saying in another reading when the Queen of Wands showed up, remember the Queen of Wands is very humorous, okay? She can be sarcastically humorous. Um, you could be male or female, it doesn't matter. Um, Aquarius, but I think it's important to laugh at yourself, okay? Be humorous, you can be you can be serious and humorous about a situation um, that, that is serious, if you know what I mean. There's a kitty cat in my room that I didn't know was here. Oh, there she is. It's Maisie. Someone just let her in. <laughs> I, heard, I heard banging at the door, which was one of my cats, and someone just let her in. <laughs> she wasn't here before, and then I just saw her tail going around. Anyway, hi, Maisie. The queen, Maisie's the queen. The queen of swords being clarified by the seven of pentacles, to get back to the reading. Um, Aquarius, I think that you are realizing that something you've been working hard on is coming to fruition. It's just been a matter of waiting and your patience has been worth it. Like you have been very patient, but you have not wanted to be patient, Aquarius. But you're seeing there in the seven of pentacles, like the fruits are ripening, the fruits of your labor are ripening, and there's more to come in this harvest and the part about um, laughing at yourself or a serious situation um, it's okay to laugh at something that's also serious 
um, as long as no one's getting hurt, you know what I mean? And um, the Queen of Swords here, it looks like a cat in the background. It kind of looks like an owl at the same time, which reminds me of one of my other cats. And I also see my lynx cub in the background there <laughs> peeking over this card. Okay, so um, if some of you listening right now have cats at home, or any kind of pet for that matter, embrace them. It will take your mind off of things when they become too serious. Um, we have to remember our animals. They're like our little angels and they give us love. Okay. Um, the Queen of Swords energy. Um, she's <laughs> in this deck. She's got this look on her face. It's making me laugh now. Um, she's kind of like la-di-da. Like it's my way or no way. So deal with it. That's just the way it is. So that's the way it is, Aquarius. I think many of you are taking that stance right now. Okay, for your challenges, we have the Eight of Cups being clarified by the Six of Cups. The Eight of Cups is moving on from what no longer serves you. Um, it's this card right here, the Halloween deck. So this witch is just flying away from those little imps on the ground. Um, she's just like, no, I'm not hanging out with you. Like, that's that's it. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Um, this could have to do with someone from your past that has come back up in your life. And you're like, look, you know, we had a good run, but this is just not a good friendship you're not who I thought you were um, something like that and it's time to move on and you recognize that and it's kind of sad but you'll never lose your memories Aquarius okay you'll never lose your memories it's just you don't vibe in the same place as someone in your life or someone who has come back in your life and um, you just have nothing in common anymore it might be a hard thing to walk away from but you know you need to we have the ace of wands here it could be a passionate new beginning it's a gift coming in you're getting um, some new ideas that are creative. The witch on this card here, um, she's like, uh, looks to me, it looks like she has her own agenda and she's not too interested in listening to new ideas. But Aquarius, I think you need to. Don't dismiss it. Don't be like on um, the figure in the Seven of Swords. Don't dismiss it. Don't dismiss this new information coming your way. Listen and reflect on it. You don't have to make any immediate decisions about what you're going to do, but don't ever dismiss it because some, because some good messages are coming in for you, some really, really, really good ideas that I think at first you just don't want to hear. You want to be like this cloaked figure here and just be like, um, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil kind of thing and ignore it and tiptoe away but don't because there could be something really important for you coming in that's going to improve your life and make you feel happy and good okay for your outcome position we have the two of pentacles and the queen of swords so i was talking about yeah oh my god the queen of swords came in twice hang on one sec let me show you Okay, so the Queen of Swords was your very first card and one of your last cards, okay? So you are really strong in your power this week, Aquarius. Wait a minute, I want that back. Um, you need to make a decision about something with the Two of Pentacles. It, it could be a decision about balancing two different things. What I'm getting, Aquarius, is that you can have both things. Um, I get this a lot in readings with the Two of Pentacles. Um, Focus on one thing at a time, but you can have both. Just utilize your time, make yourself a schedule, and designate time for one thing and time for the other thing. If those two tasks or projects are related, um, it's okay if they overlap, but don't get distracted because the Queen of Swords, she wants to be present, serious, and clear-minded, and that's you, Aquarius. That's what you need, okay? You need to embrace this energy, and don't be too serious, okay? I'm seeing some, some of you like going around like real tense and serious and then all of a sudden something hits your funny bone and you just start laughing and you're just able to handle and man manage things way better and things just actually turn into fun rather than all the seriousness. Wow, I already got a flipper and I barely shuffled. I don't know if I mentioned all of these decks have been pre-shuffled, okay? You got the Hermit which is Virgo energy, and it says, time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. Shine your light as an example to others. Seek out or become a spiritual mentor and self-discovery. Okay, Aquarius, I like this. It's about self-discovery. Pay attention to the signs and symbols coming in, okay? And take a moment to yourself, okay? It's too easy to get caught up in energies around us. And if you have to physically remove yourself temporarily Aquarius do like get in your car go for a drive even if you just go sit at a park 
and be by yourself for a while so that you can think and do that, okay? All right, one more for Aquarius. This is from the Angel Wisdom Tarot. One more from here for Aquarius. Okay, we have the, oh my gosh, we have the uh, Ace of Fire, which, where was that? Here we go. So this is confirming the Ace of Wands. It's clarifying the Ace of Wands. Very synchronous here. It says, an amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action and do what you are passionate about, Aquarius, okay? So like I was saying, don't tiptoe away from those offers, those messages, those ideas, because this is an amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action and do what you are passionate about. Aquarius, I think some of you are um, feeling like, well, this is a passion, but it can't be the same thing as work because work is supposed to be grueling and hard. No, not necessarily Aquarius. Like maybe you can take your passion and turn it into your career and make some money off of it. It's possible. It's for some of you, not all of you. I hope this reading is helping so far, Aquarius. Please like, share, and subscribe, and remember the notification bell. That way you always know when I've uploaded a new video. So from the wisdom of Tao, you have relationship harmony. And it's the water element, so you could have a water sign in your chart or a water sign in your life, but that does not have to be the case. That's not for everyone. And it says a loyal and harmonious relationship or partnership is being manifested. The bond between friends, lovers, and partners will grow and blossom. Nurture the relationships with no judgment and no expectations. Very nice. The Queen of Swords is coming to mind again. No judgment and no expectations, okay? You can judge. You can um, use good judgment without being judgmental is what I'm trying to say. Lovers and partnership. Open your heart to love and live in the moment with passion and exuberance. Indulge in the harmony of a great partnership and be happy. Be happy, Aquarius. Be happy with a great partnership. This could be romantic. It could be a friend. It could be a business partnership. Okay, let's go over here to the Angel Answers cards. If you have a question right now, you can reflect on that, but you don't have to. Just take what messages resonate and leave what doesn't. And what messages are meant to come out for you will, okay? You'll just know in your gut if you tune into that, tune into your higher self. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from Angel Answers. All right, Aquarius, you have success, beautiful success. There's success all over this reading, okay? All over this reading. And we have let go, okay? I think a lot of you are hanging on to um, stubborn thoughts. Um, some of you are hanging on to an old connection that's just um, someone you have nothing in common with anymore. Like I was saying earlier, it's okay to still be in contact with that person unless they've harmed you or unless something went seriously wrong. But um, maybe let go of the idea that you're gonna be best buds again because you're on different paths, okay? Um, I'm also getting let go when it comes to let go of your ideas of how something should go, okay? Be open to some different options. Um, be a little bit more flexible in your thinking Aquarius and some really cool things could be coming in for you. Cool reading Aquarius, I like this. Please like, share, and subscribe, and comment below how this is resonating. It would be of such support to my channel and of wonderful support to those watching. All right, so this is the Chakra Love Deck. I'm just going to pick a couple from here. Oops, that one fell. Let me grab that. Bear with me a moment. Okay, what do we get? The Root Chakra and the Gemstone is Hematite. Foundation. Foundation is what the castle of your soul is built upon. Okay, beautiful. That's the root chakra. You can meditate on your root chakra to help ground you, make you feel more grounded and less in your head, and maybe a little bit a little bit more open to these cool ideas coming in for you with this fire energy. Okay, one more from the chakra love deck for Aquarius. All right, one more from here for Aquarius. Okay, look at the beautiful 
color on the back of this card. Okay, oh wow, the third eye chakra. There's your intuition again. Tune into your intuition and it's amethyst. So if you like gemstones, that's the amethyst. Intuition is the little tug that pulls you toward your light. All right, Aquarius, you all have a lot of light to shine. Shine it on yourself first. Shine it out to others. Put a smile on your face. You have a lot to be happy about. Okay, Aquarius, good things coming your way. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon.